Where's that treasure? What's up, everybody? It is Friday afternoon. So the storm is past. It's clear past us. And uh, today's really just been a cleanup day. I actually spent the day helping my buddy Jason. His fences, he's got the privacy fences, the wood panels. Whew, dropped a half a dozen of them. So we're out there pounding posts in and doing all that. Got good and sweaty. Worked it out. Uh, he doesn't have power, nor do my in-laws here. And uh, they're projecting it's going to be next week, Monday or Tuesday. Now, we're clear outside of the spectrum of the disaster, but we do have some flooding. We do have traffic lights out everywhere. Uh, so I think they're just trying to get that stuff done and in, and, uh, and then power will come back on. Now, luckily, myself and my family, we did not have any outages. We were ready. But all my gears at my buddy Jason's, he's got my generator, my solar generators, all that stuff. He wasn't prepared. I am, and I'm happy to be able to share that with him. So that was super cool. That's half the reason I prep right there. Here's some of the footage of what I see around town today. Check it out. All right, it's still Thursday. This is a retention pond, and this thing's got to be up. I don't know, at least 10 or 12 feet. Normally it is way down and it's pouring out into the parking lot over there. And I wanna say it's over here as well. It's still raining, still windy, but it's nothing like uh, we were expecting. So we're very fortunate. But uh, we were just driving over here and we saw the water rushing over there. It filled a whole parking lot. So normally, there's about 12 foot of a drop on that side. And you can see it's flush with that Texas Roadhouse parking lot right now. In fact, it's flooding into there on that side. That is a lot of water up here. And uh, there's more to come. It's supposed to keep raining throughout today and into tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. So this is not normally a lake, but you can see that is a lot, a lot of water. That's not even a retention pond, that's just a field. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of rain. <laughs> so this is a local business right up the street from me. And as you can see, the buildings, there's multiple office buildings, but that one in the middle is underwater. That other one in the back, that one is typically uh, got a couple stairs going up to it, but they got a couple of feet of water in there, which is crazy. Loads of this as we're driving around. This is trees on power lines, and uh, I can guarantee you this is why there is a lot of power outages. These big trees, they just fold right over. And uh, until they can come out and cut that down once the wind settles, that's what we got. All right, that is a big tree down. Holy smokes. Boom. We're seeing lots of this stuff, just branches, busted trees, debris all over the ground here. Palm fronds, you know you're in Florida when there's palm fronds everywhere. <laughs> We're seeing lots of vinyl fences that look just like that. My buddy Jason, he lost some wood fence panels at his place. Uh, lots of screen porches that are decimated as well. All right, and here is some serious water. Neighborhood over from ours. That is a big puddle for sure. What a mess. So we've seen lots and lots. <laughs> Let me get out of the water. Lots of stop signs in that that are bent sideways. And again, we didn't even get the hurricane up here. But uh, this is going into my, my home here. <laughs> As you can see, the sign is down. And... Uh, a lot of debris and stuff out, but yeah, lots of bent over signs, stop signs and such. 
it's still spitting it's gonna be a mess for a little while for sure but we definitely got lucky Look at that side. And there you have it. That's how it looks here in my neck of the woods. Now, look, if you're looking at the news at all, this was devastating. People died. The actual implications from this or ramification, whatever, uh, this is going to be expensive. There's a lot of buildings gone. There's a lot of loss of life. There's a lot of everything. The damages are in the billions look there's video floating around if you look for it people trapped on roofs people getting washed away i mean this was that bad even up in the orlando area there's submerged cars you know where rivers and lakes overran their you know borders i mean it's really crazy and this was really not even the worst case scenario they were projecting even worse uh my heart goes out to those down down south and in on the west side we were really unscathed up here we we're very fortunate for that so keep them in your thoughts and prayers um you know it's one of those things that uh there's going to be a lot of people that need a lot of help so thank you guys for watching we try to just give you a little glimpse of what's going on in my life you know and i share that with you guys um it, I really, this is one of those hard ones. When these natural disasters occur, we tell people prep, 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 get ready, have options. And it's for just this reason. Even if you don't need it, you're going to have a friend or family member that desperately does. Um, if you're in a position to get prepped, get prepared, please do it. Uh, it could really make life a lot better. Anyway, thank you all for watching. That's it for now. The Hurricane Series is over. This is Pirate Stacker. We'll see you all tomorrow morning. I've got a Morgan Series video you're not going to want to miss. See you all then. Pirate out. Arg. <laughs>